Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your VMware ESXi 5.5 to the latest and greatest, which I believe is version 6. So right now, this is my hypervisor, and my hypervisor, I'm connected using the vSphere client. And the first thing that you need to do if you have multiple virtual machines is shut down gracefully, okay? Uh, if you have a batch script or other ways that you shut down all your virtual machines, just do that. For this video, I'm just going to right click and just going to power off. This is not best practice in doing, but uh, I'm just going to do it real quick. Now, once all your virtual machines are shut down within your hypervisor, you need to place your hypervisor inside maintenance mode. Now, the way that you put your hypervisor within maintenance mode is you right click on the node and just enter maintenance mode and click yes. In the bottom right here at the recent task, it says enter maintenance mode, entering and it's completed, awesome. The way that you know you're in maintenance mode is that the nice little icon changes. Now the next thing that you need to do is shut down your hypervisor. So I'm gonna do everything within the GUI. So you're gonna right click on your node and we're gonna do a shutdown command. Give it a nice little comment or a reason why you're doing it. We're doing upgrade to uh, ESXi. Uh, version 6.0 and okay now the way that you know that your hypervisor is completely shut down is you can either go inside the hypervisor GUI which is this or you could just wait at the vSpare client and you're gonna get this dialog box that says the connection has been lost so we're gonna click on cancel awesome and as you can see my hypervisor is shut down now because I'm doing this with one hypervisor I could do it this way if you have a couple hypervisors within your LAM room, like maybe one or two, you could burn a DVD or a CD, insert the, the CD or DVD into it, and just boot into it, and that's it. Now, if you have a multiples, I mean like 10, 20 hypervisors, most likely you want to do this within your vCenter and do a command line, which I'm going to show you guys how to do that next time. But for now, what we're going to do is one hypervisor. So I'm going to click on Edit Virtual Machine. And from here, I'm going to change the CD or the ISO to version 6. I'm going to go inside my ISOs, uh, my VMware folder version 6, and I'm going to double click on this guy, and OK. So I'm going to power on my virtual machine, and I'm going to get into my BIOS. And the reason why I'm getting my BIOS is because I need to change the boot option to boot inside the CD. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to press F10. For you, most likely, you guys can press F12 to get into the boot menu and just boot that way. And I'm going to do F10 to save and exit. So as you can see, I'm booted inside the ISO to version 6, and I'm going to pick the first option. Okay, if everything goes well, you're going to get a dialog box. It takes a while for it to load up, but you're going to get this. You're going to get welcome to the VMware ESXi version 6 installation. You want to click on enter okay once you hit enter you're going to get this dialog box we're going to press f11 and it's scanning for all available devices it might take a couple of seconds but once it scans all the devices you're going to get this from here this is the dialog box that you choose where your primary uh, hypervisor os is installed for me it's where the 40 gig and my 100 gig is where i have all my virtual machines so we're going to click enter so you get another dialog box it basically says that it did find a hypervisor operating system already installed. You have multiple options. Most likely you're going to be doing upgraded, which is the first option. You want to upgrade your ESXi and you want to preserve the VMFS database, right? You want to keep that stuff all the same. All we're doing is an upgrade. So we're going to leave it as the default because that's what it chose and hit enter. Now it's scanning the system again. And once it's completed, you're going to get this uh, confirm upgrade dialog box. So we're going to press F11. And that's it. We're upgrading to our latest inversion uh, ESXi, which is version 6. Okay, so once the upgrade is completed, you're going to get this. And this is always a great thing. It says the system has been successfully upgraded to ESXi 6.0.0. Awesome. So let's hit enter to reboot. So our hypervisor is up and running, as you can see, and we're going to use the same IP address as before. And I'm going to use our VMware uh, vSphere client. This is the IP address. Awesome. And I'm going to log in. Now, when you log in, you're going to basically get this because I want to show you guys something. You're going to log in. You're going to get this. 
And the reason why you're getting this is because we upgraded our hypervisor and it needs the latest and greatest vSphere client to log into. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to cancel. And the reason why I'm canceling is because I still need this version of the vSphere client for my older hypervisor boxes. So I'm going to close that up. But you can actually use the IP address and log into it, which is pretty awesome because this latest and greatest hypervisor from VMware uh, has an, it has a GUI, which is cool. So let's get into the GUI. Awesome. Uh, it gives you an option to download, but on this version, it gives you this option. Open the VMware host client. This is a first. Let's click on that. And then you got this beautiful UI. So we're going to actually log into this machine using the web GUI. How awesome is that? So the first thing that we need to do is remove our uh, hypervisor off maintenance mode. So to do that, let's right click on it and exit maintenance mode. Icon changes, give it some time at the bottom of the recent task right here. It changes that it's completed. Awesome. And what we need to do is get inside our virtual machines and from our virtual machines, start powering them on. So I'm actually going to power this guy on. And there it goes. It's power on uh, because I shut it down. Not the correct way. It's giving me issues. Uh, so let's log in. It looks like it wants me to log in again. There it goes. Awesome. I'm really liking this version uh, due to the fact that I don't need to use the client. I'm able to use the GUI version and the GUI version is like legit. It gives you more information other than the client version, which is pretty cool. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Uh, leave comments right below. Hopefully next time I'm going to show you guys how to do it within the command line, especially if you have multiple hypervisors and you want to do everything in one shot. Stay tuned for that and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.